what's going on, Doombots. Uh, number three is here of 140. And surprise, surprise, alphabetically speaking, that's going to be America Chavez. So, America Chavez, uh, probably one of the lesser known characters in Marvel, just in general, but uh, actually a truly awesome character with a lot of cool backstory. So for those who aren't aware, uh, America Chavez is like a star baby. <laughs> She's a, it's like a starling that's literally her race uh, from an alternate dimension, like a utopian reality outside of our normal Marvel multiverse. Cool, whatever. Basically, through some kind of shenanigans because the writers of the story wanted it to be so, she breached out of her paradise utopia reality uh, into ours or one of ours when the multiverse was still around before the events of, of Secret Wars and Battle World, and uh, entered our reality and tried to kind of like be a hero in our realm, choosing like the name America Chavez or Miss America to start off with to kind of like sneak around like, no, nah, I'm a good guy, like Captain America, but uh, actually just trying to help out uh, because our reality is nowhere near her perfect reality she's from. A list of where she's done, you can track a lot. She was part of the A-Team, which was a, kind of like the Young Avengers before the Young Avengers started. Young Avengers was more of a more attempt of Marvel to kind of be like, hey, look, we got kids here, too. Maybe you guys should read these comics. Some of them worked. Some of them didn't. America Chavez was kind of the leader of the Young Avengers, uh, eventually joining Kate Bishop's West Coast Avengers on their remake somewhere around 2012, 2013. Sorry in the comments if I'm wrong about the time on this one. Uh, just most of this is from memory. And uh, that's it. She's been kind of a mainstay in the Marvel Universe for the last, I want to say, 12 years or so? 13 years? She's relatively new. Not quite as new as Amer um, Ms. Marvel or Kamala Khan, but relatively new, all things considered. And there's plenty of stuff to go over. Uh, her first appearance, I believe, was in a comic series called Vengeance. Uh, it was like a six-part miniseries. I will link it in the description below. Don't worry about it. Uh, and it was a really awesome story arc to introduce her to the world as kind of an overpowered, another cosmic character. One thing you'll find about Cosmic Marvel kind of sucks because everybody is basically a space god. Uh, if you remember the MCU, Thanos is a space god. Everyone in everyone in Cosmic Marvel just ends up being so powerful that it's kind of ridiculous that anyone ever beats them. So Cosmic Marvel gets a little bit less interesting, but... As she spent time on our realm, she became more reasonable. That said, her powers are kind of through the roof. Uh, she can fly because she wants to. She has the power of flight through force of will, uh, like a lot of heroes do. Superhuman speed, superhuman strength, nothing crazy. Kind of invulnerable to damage in the same way like Superman or the Hulk would be. Maybe Thor. It's like, yeah, you can hurt him, but it takes an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage to do it, like bulletproof, that kind of thing. Uh, she can create, like, Rick Sanchez-style portals that can teleport her across the universe, kind of like how Nightcrawler does it. Uh, as long as she knows where she wants to go, she can open a portal there. And, of course, the portal is shaped like a star because star-spangled uh, <laughs> chick. Uh, it's really cool. But not the coolest thing. The coolest thing about her portals is that sometimes she accidentally time travels. And that makes for a lot of fun stories in the storyline where she just shows up out of the blue. They kind of used her over the last decade to be like, oh, no, she showed up and explained how they were going to fail this. Or, oh, you guys could solve this problem. Really weird stuff going on from there. Uh, she has the same kind of energy powers that, like, Captain Marvel or Bishop have where they can absorb different types of energy uh, into their body and then call it later. She will literally never die from old age because she doesn't exist in the same time frame as we do. So she's basically perpetually 18, 19, however old she is when she came here. Uh, and uh, she has something called cosmic awareness, which just means she's aware of everything that's going on. If something goes wrong in a different part of the universe at a very large scale, she'd be like, hey, what? Because she's not from our realm. So that's pretty much everything about the backstory of, of America Chavez. Let's take a quick look at her in the confines of the game. So she is a cosmic mystic brawler. Uh, very weird conversations. Usually when you have cosmic and magic mystic characters, brawler doesn't come until the end. Usually they use some kind of spells like ranged attacks or something. So having all three of them is, is a slightly unique feature. Only other character, I believe, that has that 
specific setup is Ultimus, but no one uses him anyway. We'll talk about him at you, right? Cosmic character, no no big deal. Useful in the same kind of stuff. Uh, raids that everyone else would be. Mystic, a little bit more viable. Uh, and Brawler, not one of the best abilities. Some of the Brawlers work together, but ironically, all of the hero Brawlers that work together are also Young Avengers anyway, so she really is just kind of a standout on her Young Avenger team. Uh, as for her abilities, let's kind of see how they hit their power compared to the comic book. America's Starling, she gains max health and gives Young Avengers and Heroes Brawlers max health. Uh, if you upgrade it, it goes to 20%. It's a decent upgrade. Not really kind of the thing that you would expect her to do from her powers in the comics, but maybe a little bit more. She's very... You can kind of tell she's one of the older characters in the game. Uh, Starwing Highway. Clear three positive effects. Attack primary target for damage. Uh, again, the damage number doesn't look powerful enough to justify what she actually does. Like She should punch as hard as a character like Thor. So, for 5 energy, not one of the best abilities I've ever seen. Uh, Shooting Star is attack primary target for damage, but nice little boost for each Young Avenger or Hero Brawler. Great ability, especially on her team. Outside of it, super dependent on, on having a decent amount of other characters. Doesn't do much. And then, of course, Starstruck. Uh, probably one of the beginnings of amazing basic attacks. They kind of snuck this in under the radar. Attack primary target for some amount of damage, then apply defense down. And defense down on basic is huge, especially if she's assisting a lot. So if you end up putting together a team that calls for a lot of assists, uh, having that defense down basically means not just her, but every person who attacks that target after her is just doing so much more damage. So really powerful ability on a basic for a character that isn't particularly great. When it comes to ISOs... She's a brawler. Generally speaking, brawlers tend to get one of two things, striker um, or raider. A lot of times, skirmisher isn't very relevant on brawlers because it doesn't increase the amount of damage they do. But in some cases, skirmisher makes a big deal, especially where assists come in. And there's quite a bit of assists being thrown around when it comes to the Young Avengers. But on the Young Avengers team, and with the Young Avengers, especially with Ms. Marvel, you kind of want them all to have Striker. Anyone who has the Infinity Watch kind of knows why that works that way. But basically, everyone will call Ms. Marvel to assist. She'll put a Skirmisher tag. You'll get a second attack in. Really strong, val valuable attack. And not to sleep on the fact that, you know, the extra health doesn't matter too much, but the extra bonus damage, super big deal for a damage-dealing type character. Um, you can tell I don't have much investment in her. A lot of the reason why is because while she's really good, like independently and on her team they're really good that team isn't particularly useful for anything i wouldn't go out of my way to use america chavez anywhere in the game um but it's not to say i couldn't just why there's a very obviously if you play this game you understand that there's some degree of, of scarcity when it comes to resources especially when it comes to mystic style resources uh and brawlers for ISOs kind of are spoken for through a couple of characters already, usually some of the symbiotes. So as far as Mystic Gear and Brawler Tags, they work against her because they're just better options and we have limited sources to work on. We can't just work on whatever character we want in Marvel Strike Force. What would that be? Fun? So it's hard to justify working on her. That doesn't mean she won't perform. She's more of a later game kind of breakthrough character. So for her... You're not going to feel as much power when you're using her because there's nothing to do. Now, granted, there could always be a rework. There could always be a new character come out and change all of this. But as of right now in the game, she's maybe in the same class as Coulson. So I'm going to give her the same rating of a B tier. Defense and offensively on war, you can get a lot of value out of them. You might be able to squeeze by some extra value in some game modes, places she can be used. They're just not places you want to use her. Um, if you can avoid it because there's better resources to spend. But overall, she does have a kind of little cute synergy with characters like Kestrel, where you can put defense down with her basic if you're using the character. So for RTA, you can get some more value. But that's less about her being strong and more about Kestrel being so good that she improves the quality of the characters around her. Uh, outside of that, there's not much else to talk about America Chavez. She is a cool character in the comics, and I think you enjoy reading some of her comic series because they do well writing her. Uh, as far as in Marvel Strike Force, uh, 
Didn't even notice that the stars and stripes were bleeding off of her fist, which is also super cool. How long has she been in this game? Um, she's just not like someone you want to go out of your way for, kind of. You'll unlock her. She doesn't really do much. She doesn't help you unlock anything. There's no game mode that she's stellar at. She's more of a use her or leave her alone kind of character. So if you're waiting on something, if you're earlier in the game, you can get a lot of value out of her in the very early stages. But uh, there's always something better to be working on, so don't go out of your way for her. Anyway, that's pretty much it on America Chavez. Obviously, you can comment below and tell me if you think she should be nerfed or buffed or whatever you think should happen to her. But uh, that's up to you. So anyway, read the description for information about more comics. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scongeli, and I will catch you later.